looks like I got a couple of things to unbox here. Um, anyways, this is Aseto the Forerunner Pony, better known as FHRC Brony. And today, I'm just going to give you guys an unboxing. This is basically update number two on my Forerunners, my 1995 Toyota Forerunners AC system. I've been whining and bitching about it because it's not giving me cold air during the summer. So, it's time for me to fix it. Monday, I should say. So this is just the unboxing of what's gonna happen. So uh, all these three were actually bought from AutoZone and um, that's where I mainly get a lot of my car parts from. So let's go ahead on and take a look at what we got. So, so over here we have the AC dryer, which is basically the part that's, that's uh, right next to the AC condenser. Which the condenser is literally right in front of the uh, radiator. And here it is. As you can see, it kind of looks like one of those um, military flashbang grenades. Kind of does, just looking at it. And it also has the little gaskets there. So, yeah. And then, that's one thing right there that into the it's actually you know what I'll take it out for you, for you guys to see again put it over here yeah kind of looks like a flashbang grenade and over here we have um, the expansion valve and this is actually located right next to the evaporator which is actually in here and I'll show it to you where um, I'll show it to you what the evaporator looks like in a bit but uh, here's the, I'm not gonna take it out of the packaging, the little plastic packaging just yet, but uh, as you can see, it looks like that. And uh, this is the second to last section, uh, second to last piece that goes, where AC refrigerator goes through, the high, both the high pressure and the low pressure side. So, um, yeah. And this is the, like I said, this is the second to last piece uh, of the AC system before it cycles. This is actually what goes before and after the evaporator. So, there you go. And, last but not least, the evaporator core itself. I'm gonna be very gentle when, I try, when I'm getting this thing out because this is kind of a delicate piece and I don't wanna screw this up. down by these, being protected by these styrofoam pieces. Like I said, um, it's very delicate, so uh, I wouldn't say I have to treat it as delicate as possible, but you know, I'm gonna try to be careful with it because these are actually fins that could easily get bent. So, um, Here's what it looks like, and if you guys might notice, it kind of looks like a, a radiator and kind of thing. But it's actually not. This is the evaporator core, and this is literally the last uh, piece on the AC system where refrigerant, the R134A uh, or R12, um, where the refrigerant is very, very cold. And um, this is the section. This is the piece where the um, the AC, the the blower. Uh, the blower fans will start blowing the cold air into the cabin, thus giving us the cold air inside the vehicle. Just prevents us from sweating and whining and bitching about why the car is not is, is hot inside. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, the reason why this piece right here is the second to last, actually the, yeah, second to last and second, uh, and I, I don't know how you say this, but this is just like the second to last piece where both uh, high and low pressure meat is because this piece actually literally connects right there. I don't know if you can see it, but right there it connects like that. So, but yeah, so here's that's that's the evaporator for you. And um, I don't think they gave me any sort of sealants or o rings, but that's okay. I, I have some extra o rings. You know, when I worked on my AC compressor before before last summer, so I should be okay. 
But anyways, yeah, so that's the unboxing of three parts for my AC system on my 1995 SR5 V6 Toyota 4Runner. I have the AC dryer, which is uh, the much easier one to get because it's actually in the front of the vehicle, and the AC expansion pack, and the AC evaporator core. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this inside the box, and then on Monday, I will uh, take my car to the shop and pay a mechanic to evacuate and flush my AC system uh, so there's no refrigerant into the system. And then I can go start working on this, and once I'm done with the work, I'm going to uh, bring it back to the shop, have them refill it with some, with some new refrigerant, and then we'll see what happens from there. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you guys again later.